Raise your hand if you've ever typed the same census fact into five or 15 different profiles for ancestors in RootsMagic. <laughs> yep, I've been there. That's precious data entry time you'll never get back. And that's not even counting the typos or mismatched dates we don't notice until months later. But there's a smarter way already built into RootsMagic. Today, I will show you a power user tool that might just become one of your new favorites. Copy that. Whether you're working with a full household from a census page, a family who appears together in a city directory, or logging the same military enlistment data across multiple people, this Roots Magic tool can save you a lot of time and reduce entry errors. And wouldn't you know it, Roots Magic released this new tool after I worked on a research project of nearly 1,000 men in a military regiment. Has a new feature on your favorite genealogy research platform ever been released after you need it? <laughs> Let me know in the comments section. Let's walk through how Roots Magic Copy Fact Tool works. I've opened a family group in which multiple members appeared in the 1880 U.S. Census. Instead of entering that census fact one person at a time, I will enter it once for the head of the household and then use copy fact to apply it to the others. So step one, open and edit person screen for a relative. Add a fact to the first person, just like normal. Include all the details you'd normally add, date, place, citation, and notes. Once you've finished creating a fact, click on it to highlight it. If you previously created a fact for a person, click on the fact to highlight it. Regardless, you should have a fact highlighted. With the fact highlighted, look for the three dot options menu and click that. Select copy selected fact to save it to multiple people. Side note, the move selected fact is the option if you want to transfer this fact to another person. Maybe you added it by mistake. That's not what we're doing, but if you ever need to transfer a fact to someone else, that tool is a time saver. Next, Moots Magic will prompt you to select the people you want to have a copy of this fact. You can add a spouse, children, or anyone else from your tree. The Explorer window allows you to search and handpick individuals, which is extremely handy for large families. After selecting everyone to receive a copy of the fact, click OK. Roots Magic will now copy the fact to each profile. Not only that, Roots Magic will copy the fact along with all link details, sources, and notes, which is such a time saver. The final step is to customize the facts when necessary. I love that after Roots Magic copies these facts to the profiles, there's no connection to the original. This means each person's new fact is theirs, and you can edit them without fear of altering the previous fact for the previous person. Why is this awesome? Let's say you were copying the date and location of a man who enlisted to serve in the Civil War. On the same day he enlisted to serve, he was transferred from Company A to Company K and given the rank of Second Lieutenant. In the description of the facts, you can add those details to what was copied previously from another person who enlisted on the same day, in the same place, in the same regiment. And this information only changes the fact for the current person you're editing. The original person or anybody else with that fact, they stay untouched until you change it for them. If you customize a residence fact, you can change the address for the people who appear in the same city directory but reside in different homes. Having keyed in multiple people in the same city directory, this copy fact feature saves me from having to add a new fact and insert all the details. Namely, the city is the same, the gear is the same, and the master source is the same over and over again. I copy and paste the fact and then customize the new fact as needed. Such a time saver. 
Marking a family is relatively easy. Roots Magic has this select feature on numerous tools. So once you've learned it, you'll use it again and again. So first click mark, and then you'll have several options. Families. When you click this feature, you can focus on the immediate family of your selected person, everyone. Rarely do you want to do this on a large tree file, but in a small file, let's say I have the initial database for the men of the 133rd unit, and I want to add a unit history to everyone, but I haven't added anybody else, no spouse, no minors, no parents, so forth, that's when you'd use the everyone option. Otherwise, don't use the everyone in file option. Everyone in the highlighted person's tree. Okay, once again, I'd caution you against this as there are rare instances when you want to copy a fact to everyone in a highlighted tree for copy fact purposes. I'll give the same precautions for the next three options. By data fields, this one I'll demonstrate in a moment. So then you have saved searches and deceased people. Those tools have their uses depending on what fact you're trying to copy. I point that out here because this is a very common selection tool throughout Roots Magic, even if you don't use it for the copy fact feature. When in doubt, you can search for a name. For the Ohio 133rd, if I have a fresh file, meaning I have names of people in the file but nothing else, then I can search for a name. For example, I'll look for Wilson Hume, who is also a field and staff member for the Ohio 133rd. So I simply type in the surname Hume in the search box. When I see his name, I click the box beside it to denote that I want to copy the fact to him. I will next search for Carl Bancroft and repeat the steps. Once I'm happy with the name selected, I can click select and the facts will be copied for that person for the event that I'm trying to copy to him or the fact that I'm trying to copy to them. Next, you can also search your database for any field that applies to the common fact or data each profile has. In this case, I know that I entered the mustard in date for everyone in the Ohio 133rd field and staff. And in the description of the mustering in fact, I added that they were mustered into field and staff. Therefore, when I search by data field, I can select the field of military. Then I'll choose description because that's where the text field and staff should appear. I will choose contains and then type field because I can't remember if I use the ampersand or the word and between field and staff. However, I know that no other military description will include the word field in it. When I click OK, Roots Magic will mark the men who have those parameters and tell me how many. In this case, 13. Click OK and then review your list. Now, some have said it's challenging to use copy fact on their families or groups because you have to select everyone. That's not the true at the time of this recording. That's why there is a step between OK to mark the people and then apply with the button of select. I can scroll down the list to ensure all the field and staff members are highlighted. If for some reason Roots Magic incorrectly selected someone I didn't want to apply this fact to, I can deselect the name. This comes in handy when you're trying to copy a census record to a family, but not all children are in the home at the time of the census. Deselect the person after selecting the family and you're good to go. Once the list of folks you wish to have a copied fact to has the check mark beside their name, click select. Now, I failed to uncheck Gustavus Innes, but no worries. If you have a duplicate copy or if you copied the fact to someone else by mistake, just highlight the fact that you didn't want copied and delete it. In short, this is a great way to rapidly copy facts to multiple people, and you can also copy the sources, which again is such a time saver. And if you make a mistake, you can easily delete the copied fact. One note, 
Once the fact is copied, it's specific to that per person. So let's say I copied the fact to Wilson Hume, but he mustered out on a different date. I can edit that date to an earlier or later one, and it only affects Wilson's fact, not the entire field and staff, which again is so amazing. So let's talk about some real life scenarios where copy fact shines. This isn't just for census record, though it's excellent for that. As I've shown adding the residence fact to every family member who appears in the same household, you can quickly accomplish that task with this tool. If multiple relatives show up in a specific year and place in city directories or tax records, enter the event once, copy it to everyone, and then go customize it to their specific entries. I've shown that military enlistments are a perfect use for this tool. I had 900 men in the same Civil War unit, and I also had nearly 850 men who were discharged on the same date. Trust me, copying the same date and location and attaching the same sorts repeatedly made me wish this feature was available much sooner than it was. With the increasing interest in fan club research, the copy fact tool that pertains to multiple people simultaneously would be amazing and not limited to just a family cluster. So to say I love using this tool when documenting a specific event, place, or time is an understatement. I know it will help you fly through adding facts and then go back and fine tune them later. So if you've been plugging away fact by fact, person by person, building your family tree with Roots Magic, save yourself the extra clicks. Use copy fact to get more done in less time with fewer errors. If this video helped, let me know how you will use this tool in your research. What records do you wish you could copy across multiple people? Drop a comment below. I love seeing how creative you all get. And hey, subscribe if you want more tips like this that will help you work smarter with Roots Magic. See you in the next video.